The stability for LASIK and LASIK are studied globally. Dr. O oh received global attention due to the innovative stability of a new process which minimizes corneal damage. He shortened the complex surgical procedure into a single step. The area of the removed epithelium has also been successfully reduced by 40% using two-day LASIK compared to conventional LASIK. This also dramatically shortened the average wound recovery period from five days to two days. Moreover, the quality of vision showed a 12% improvement after surgery due to decreased side effects such as night glare and halo. Corneal surface damage area decreased by 40% compared with conventional LASIK surgery. Laser ablation to correct a refractive error on the left eye takes only 25 seconds. We have compared the surgical procedure for two-day LASIK and conventional LASIK. Two-day LASIK minimizes the removal of the corneal epithelium and corrects vision with a single laser ablation and doesn't require a corneal flap or lenticule. The improvements are clearly shown through Dr. O's surgery. The area of the removed epithelium has been reduced by 40% compared to conventional LASIK. According to a presentation at the 116th KOS Symposium, two-day LASIK better reduced the removal of the cornea than conventional LASIK. It's important to minimize the cornea damage during surgery because LASIK and LASIK break cornea stroma. The thickness of cornea becomes thinner after surgery. The thin residual cornea is unable to endure the intraocular pressure, increasing the possibility of serious side effect, such as irregular astigmatism or keratoconus. corners. We strictly forbid the refractive surgery using cornea if we cannot remain at least 430 micrometer cornea thickness after surgery. Based on my study, on the side effect of reflex surgery, it is clear show that the safety of the surgery significantly improves if the ocular damage is minimized. <laughs> 